Therapists today see a lot of patients post-stroke, both chronic and acutely. So today we're going to learn a little bit about cyclic NMES in the use of post-stroke patients. So cyclic NMES can be used to facilitate motor learning um, post-stroke in, in a paretic um, limb. So we're going to be working on dorsiflexion weakness with cyclic NMES today. The patient should be, according to the article, in with leg, both legs extended and um, what you're going to ask them to do is dorsiflex the ankle when, it, when the cyclic NMES turns on. And then they're going to keep this other leg relaxed. So they'll dorsiflex when it turns on and relax when it turns off. So the protocol for this article was two by two electrodes, one just below the common, um, or the fibula on the common perineal nerve, and then the other on the motor point for the anterior tibialis. It's using a biphasic rectangular waveform at a frequency of 35 hertz and a pulse amplitude of either 40, 60, 80, or 100 milliamps, depending on what it takes to dorsiflex the ankle to neutral. The pulse duration also is variable from 0 to 250 microseconds in order to dorsiflex ankle without pain. And then the duty cycle is 6 seconds on and 20 seconds off. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to have her relax the other ankle. I already set my parameters. And let me know when you start to feel it. There. Okay. So we're going to go up until it takes to dorsiflex the ankle. Okay. So I'm going to turn it to 6 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Five, six, and relax. And I'm also going to give her a cue. So it's going to wait 20 seconds, and then I'm going to give her a cue to tell her when it's going to turn on so that she can um, facilitate that contraction. So we're just going to wait 10 more seconds. And contract for six seconds. Are you having any pain? Nope. Okay, and then the machine turns off and relax. So that's cyclic NMES with dorsiflexion weakness. After reviewing this article, I would use cyclic NMES in order to facilitate ambulation and improve lower extremity impairments in post-stroke patients because the um, outcome measures that the article used were the lower extremity Fugelmeyer and the Emory functional ambulation profile. And with Cyclic NMES combined with gait training, they found improvements in ambulation and lower extremity impairments.